First time visit, we'd love a uh, record of your visit. Please fill out a visitor card and drop it in the offering bag as it comes around. And so uh, we praise God for uh, for you, for you uh, being here today. I uh, tell people that you are here by divine appointment today. Uh, you, the, the, the Word of God is going to be relevant today, and uh, we just uh, praise God that uh, you have come in obedience to uh, the prompting of the Holy Spirit. And uh, also, we want to uh, draw your attention to Bible study. We have Bible study right before this service from 9.30 to 10.30. Uh, we want to uh, want you to be involved in Bible study. We have Bible study tonight at 6. We have Bible study Wednesday night at 6. And um, if you want to catch a, ser a sermon uh, during the week or a past sermon, you can go on YouTube, Fernley First Baptist Church, and uh, we will be there preaching the Word of God. And... Um, also, um, the uh, next Saturday, uh, January 27th at 9 a.m., there's going to be a women's meeting, um, and um, uh, so be sure, you women, to be involved in that. Do you want to say anything about that? We have a speaker coming, so all ladies are welcome, 9 a.m. There's a special speaker coming, so anyway, be, uh, be here for that. Uh, also, if you want to give to um, the... Uh, Jewish Foundation, uh, th th there's a web page you can give uh, for Helping Hands Relief Fund for, uh, for the uh, people of Israel, and uh, we praise God for that service. Also next uh, Saturday at um, 1 p.m., we're having our memorial service for Paul Rush, and so uh, we just um, you know, want to invite people there, and, and um, we uh, certainly miss, uh, miss our brother Paul. Uh, I'd always ask him, Paul, how are you doing? He says, I have no idea. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so, you know, I, I, uh, I trust that, uh, you know, he's uh, checking out heaven and, you know, uh, and uh, seeing Jesus. That's the main thing. And um, this week has been a sad week for uh, uh, Woody and Sharon, too. Uh, our brother Harry, and it comes sometimes, he passed away this last week from a heart attack. And so we want to be praying for Woody and Sharon and for uh, Blake and Dennis. Amen. That was yes. his, his sons, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to be praying for them. Uh, also, I want to remind everyone that has a key to the building um, to be sure when you leave, to turn the lights off and lock the doors. Gene and I came last night. The door there was a, one door completely open, unlocked. The lights were on, uh, and the front door was not latched on that on that left hand door. So, uh, and they could just open it. So, uh, just be sure. A uh, little due diligence there of uh, people that have keys. Um, and um, I I lost track of the keys a long time ago. So. Um, if you have them, um, just be responsible. Um, also, good to see Gerald here this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Been, been uh, in California having open heart surgery and stuff like that, and we praise God that uh, God has raised him up to fight again. Yeah. So Amen. praise God, praise God for Gerald being here. And uh, so let's go, to the Lord, uh, in uh, in prayer. Um, and on the back of our bulletin, we have our church prayer request. And I wanted to keep uh, Woody and Sharon and Blake and Dennis also 
uh, and Harry's family in prayer uh, today. And um, hey, we need a miracle all the time in our lives, don't we? Is there anybody here that don't have a God-sized problem in their life? I mean, we need God to invade our lives and do what only He can do, right? I mean, whether it be health, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, uh, spirit, soul, and body, you know, what it, it, you know, He's the creator of them all, so... Let's go to the Lord in a prayer one more time. Father, we call upon your name, and Lord, I pray, Father God, that Lord, uh, that Lord, you just forgive us of our sins. I pray you forgive me of my sins and the sins of my family and the sins of my church family, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that Lord, we would come into your house, uh, Lord, uh, with reverence and fear, Lord, of you, Lord God. And Lord, uh, we just pray for the ones on the back of this bulletin, Lord. We pray, Father God, the ones that need comfort in their lives. We pray for the ones that need healing in their body. We pray for the ones that, Lord, need a spiritual touch, Lord God, that maybe does not know you, Lord. And we just pray, Father God, that, Lord, um, that you'd save them, Lord God. And, Lord, uh, I just pray, Father God, that, Lord, for uh, Woody and Sharon, too, and uh, Blake and Dennis, Father, the family of Harry. And, Lord, uh, we know Harry's okay, but, but um, you know, the ones that are left, there's a, there's a, a gulf between us and them, but you're going to, there's going to be a day when the, the, the distance, the gulf is taken away, and Lord, uh, we'll all be in heaven, Lord God, and Lord, we thank you, Father, for your promises in your word. Lord, I pray for our family, Lord, I pray for our family members that are outside of you right now, I pray for the ones that need a touch of your hand, Lord God, I pray for the ones that need to come back to you, Lord God, Lord, I just pray, Father, for them, Lord God. I just uh, pray for the ones that are, uh, um, their life is changing, Lord God, and they're going to be moving, Lord God. I, I pray for Wesley and his family, Lord God. I just pray, lift them up, Lord God. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you, Lord. I pray, Father God, that, Lord, your presence would be felt uh, today. And Lord, I pray that your presence would be obeyed today. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want to present uh, a certificate here to Aiden. Come on, Aiden. All right. Yeah. yeah. Last week, um, Aiden followed the Lord in scriptural baptism, and we want to give you this certificate of baptism. And so, appreciate you, Thank you. preaching the gospel to us last week. And Thank you. In a dramatic way of death, burial, and resurrection, right? Yeah. Just praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Want to pray God? God. All right, just making sure. We are pastor. You know, sometimes people get full of Jesus. And they have what I call the Holy Ghost can't help us. <laughs> you know? I mean, the disciples had it, right? They, they, they were told in the book of Acts not to teach and preach anymore in the name of Jesus. And they, and they said, man, we can't help it, but uh, speak of what we have seen and heard. <clears throat> you know, David had the Holy Ghost can't help us. Yeah, that's right. He went into Jerusalem and the Ark of the Covenant was yes. going into Jerusalem. It says he danced before the Lord with all his might. He had the Holy Ghost can't help us on him. And you know, he didn't care what people thought. He didn't care what his wife thought or anything else. He, had, he, was, he was praising the Lord with all of his might uh, because he knew that he was right with God. And you know, uh, that there's, there's just times in our life to where, uh, you know, uh, we, we step out in faith and um, I enjoy Sister Chandra. She always has the Holy Ghost King help us. And, uh, and uh, you know, when, uh, when we get full of God, somebody's going to hear about Jesus. Amen? Amen. And, uh, and that's what it's about, is, uh, is the, uh, the church, you, reaching out to a lost and dying world and um, saying, hey, you know, God's going to destroy you if you don't repent. It's what uh, I was reading the, the uh, prophet Jonah this week, and that's that was his message. Hey, you know, God's going to destroy you if you don't repent. And they did repent. And then then Jonah was mad because they repented, and God didn't destroy it. So, <laughs> kind of like the church sometimes, you know. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> anyway, yes, sir. all right. Well, uh, let's stand for the reading of God's word. Sister Chandra is going to come and uh, read the word of the Lord. And let's get a pulpit mic up here. There it is. Well, praise the Lord and good morning. Good, good morning. morning. You know, I thank God. I don't know if you guys remember one song, but I remember this song a long time. It says, Hallelujah, anyhow, don't let troubles get you down. When your troubles come your way, just lift your hand up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Oh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Okay, I read in Ephesians chapter 5, 1 to 10. He said, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also had loved us, and had given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be one's name among you as becoming saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not covenant, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know that no warmonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, had any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not yet therefore partakers with them. For you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Mm. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in, all, is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Amen. 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 You can be seated. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lift your hands like this. Yeah. Now, now bring them together. That's called a clap. Okay. It is joy and it's
for your goodness and mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we continue in worship, let us receive our tithe and our offering. Let each one give just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or out of compulsion, for God loves a cheerful <coughs> giver. And so uh, give cheerfully to the Lord. And um, if uh, you think we're here uh, after your money, please keep it that we're not here. We're here to worship, okay? And that's why we bring a gift to the Lord. That's why we bring an offering to the Lord. is because He first loved us, and we love Him because He first loved us. He's the, he's the one that gave an offering of Himself uh, for us on the, on the cross, an offering for our soul on the cross that He might save us. And so uh, it's a way that we come and worship the Lord and say, uh, Lord, uh, I'm bringing my life, I'm bringing uh, my, uh, my riches, I'm bringing my talent, I'm bringing my treasure to you and uh, out, of a, uh, out of a heart of worship. And um, that's what we want, how, how we want you to give because, you know, in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament, uh, there were some people that died at offering time. Okay, I just, you know, because God is that serious, it's, a, it's, it's you know, a, when, when we lay in our offering as a, as a holy sacrifice, it's ser God's serious about it. In the Old Testament, it was the sons of Aaron. They offered strange fire before the Lord, and, and the fire of God came out of the altar and slew them right then. And in the New Testament, it was Ananias and Sapphira that lied to the Holy Spirit about how much they gave. And they fell dead. And fear came upon the church. I imagine it did. You know. So I don't want to have to drag any of you out of here dead. So anyway. Uh, I want you to give the right way. And, and give to the Lord. And uh, we just praise God uh, for that. Uh, amen. Brother Jim and uh, Brother Kenny. Would you come on up. And uh, receive our offering this morning. Brother Jim, lead us in prayer. Oh, uh, one thing I'd like to share with my church family real quick, it's a bit of a testimony. Sometimes, you know, you feel like you're a little bit removed from the Lord. I do anyway. I spend a lot of time on the road thinking, and then I start questioning, like, well, is it me, or is it just normal human stuff? So, <clears throat> I had a thought, which I think answered my own question. So, I woke up this morning, and... Because I love Jesus so much. And I, and, I, and I said in prayer, I said, and I think he was answering me in my own prayer, I said, you know, if when my time comes, if he said to me, depart from me, I know not of you. On all that's all to me, I swear, I look him right in the eyes and I tell him, I don't care if you send me in hell, I still love you so much. And then after I said that, I kind of realized maybe he was, answering me in my own prayer, right? Because sometimes you feel a little removed from the Lord, but you're really not. Maybe it's a test. Anyway, with that said, I would like to pray, Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all the blessings that you give us in this upside-down world, even the ones that we don't see, and bless you for working on people inside their lives, and they don't even realize it at the time. Your grace is so far extended in this world. It's beyond belief. In your great name, I pray these words. Amen. 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 Amen.
saw we did just an ultra walk for me. It's funny how God orchestrates things. So the practice that was on Wednesday. My brother passed on a Thursday, and that was our yeah. Dominican family favorite song. Yeah. Oh, Amen. 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 Amen.